Hi, welcome back again. So previously we have talked about the effective public relation strategies and now we are going to look on to what the digital public relation tools because um, in the last topic we have already mentioned that the, um, the growth or the evolutions of a public relations especially the sport public relations are caused by the technological advancements therefore the needs of the big the needs of a digital public relation tools is required. So in this topic, we are going to look on to the digital public relations tools. Right, so as usual, at the end of the sessions, um, we should be able to recognize the importance of digital public relation tools. We should also be able to differentiate between the various types of digital public relation tools. And last but not least, we should be able to develop a comprehensive and strategic PR plans that effectively integrate the digital tools. Are you ready? Let's go! So what is digital public relations or digital public relations tools? So digital PR is actually the practice of using digital and online platforms just to manage and enhance the brand's reputations, visibility and engagement of that organizations towards the audiences or the public, right? So we can combine um, the traditional PR such as the media relations, press releases, and we, we combine it with the modern digital platforms such as social media, blogs, online news, and also using the influencers. So in the previous topic, I have talked more and lots about the social media growth, social media platforms, and influencers, the use of influencers. So I bet that every one of us now are able to relate the use of the traditional um, public relations and the modern public relations. Right, so it is important for us to know why the importance of digital public relations tools. So this is just a recap because I've talked a lot about this in the previous topic where we talk about the growth of social media. So it's basically uh, quite similar because social media is actually one of the digital tools that we use in uh, this particular public relation uh, practice, right? So number one, it can help to um, increase the rich engagement uh, with the audiences or your publics, right? Number two, it can help to uh, what we call to engage the communications, the two ways communications, because um, you can def definitely respond uh, very fast to your audiences and public, and they can also give their feedbacks, questions. Um, towards uh, the organizations in also a very fast uh, time. So other than that, we can also get the analytics and targeting where we can identify when is the right time to post uh, any of the information that we have within the organizations to the public because by understanding the algorithm, by reading all the traffic of the social media usage, we may able to identify when is the peak hours for our audiences using their social media platforms or social media accounts just to get the information, right? And number four, uh, it is for a uh, very cost effective because you just not need to have, uh, uh, you, you, you do not need to spend more, you just need to develop and create your own social media account, right? It might be a, a little bit costly when you want to develop your own websites, but then it is not as uh, costly as when you want to uh, rent out a show in a television program and everything. Right, um, number five is brand and reputations building because through uh, your social media is actually you're engaging with your audiences, you are engaging with your um, public, you are actually building up your brand and also your reputation management. You are then um, promoting your visibility and your authority. You let the people know who are you, what did you do, what are the roles and the functions of your organizations, what are the things that you can provide to your audiences, right? So this is visibility and authority, and also to have a global reach of audiences. So more people uh, or more audiences can know about your organizations, and they can also uh, reach out to you globally, right? So no matter where they are, they can reach you too. Right, so next is the social media platforms, okay? Because uh, one of the digital public relations tools is the social media platform. So 
we have um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Each of these platforms, they have their own benefits, they have their own characteristics, they have their own uh, types of audiences. So, um, social media uh, is one of the tools that we have, online tools that we can use in order to send out the information or the messages. Okay? In social media also, there are several types of platforms that you can use based on the characteristic of the audiences, right? For example, if you want to write more information, detailed information, you can use Facebook. If you were actually focusing more on visual visual um, content, you can use Instagram. So basically, each of these platforms, they have their own characteristic, as well as the characteristic of the audience that use that particular platform, right? And then we have blogging. Uh, blogging is where we can publish out our news, we can report our news, uh, we can use our opinions, we can write about the review and other things because um, it's, a, it's a place where you can write, um, most likely it's like a column, all right? a section of a column and express all your opinions there. Right? And, here, and then we have um, media monitoring, uh, Google Alerts, um, and then uh, else we have um, we have also um, meltwater stations okay where the real-time notifications um, when the brand is mentioned online and it allows the immediate response and engagement okay so this is media monitoring okay and then we have press release okay press release distribution services where we have uh, news wire business wire so this is where uh, your press release can go online, okay, can go uh, digital, okay, and then we also have the influencer marketing. This is uh, the current trend nowadays where we hired uh, influencer just to market our organizations, to market our company, to market our services and products, right? So um, this is also one of the digital public relations tools, right? So as a conclusion, by mastering the digital public relation tools, is essential, crucial for us as a modern PR practitioners because these tools are actually empowering the professionals to efficiently manage the press release, monitor the media coverage, and as well as to conduct the two ways communications within the organization as well as to the public and audiences. Right? So um, I hope that everyone uh, get uh, to understand this very well. So I'm going to see you guys in the last topic, which is the uh, artist management. See you!